Center is part of Georgia's election audit and vote retally. The center has been working to protect election and security and democracy around the world since 1989. Yet this effort in Georgia is a first. It will have as many as 100 nonpartisan observers in 30 different counties, focusing on the biggest counties with the most number of votes. I talked with David Carroll, director of the democracy program at the Carter Center. And we're here as a nonpartisan organization that's coming in as an independent or uh, monitor to also be present. This is something that the Carter Center has done in other countries for a very long time. Have you been involved in this way before in an election in the United States? No, uh, we've never been involved before in any formal capacity in the United States. And up until this effort right now, we have been focused on a, a public information and awareness raising. Because as we all know, there's a great deal of disinformation out there. And it's, it's very easy and tempting for citizens to get pulled down you know, a rabbit hole of information that's just not accurate. What does it say that this is a first for the Carter Center in the United States? You know, I think we've all been um, struck by how this election is, a, is more difficult for the United States in many ways. And the fact that the uh, divisions in our society feel deeper than they have. It's just a distrust that's been growing around uh, elections and the institutions associated with elections uh, in ways that I think are you know, we've seen haven't really been warranted. He says the evidence points to an election that was secure and trustworthy. He says the silver lining, he sees more people are engaged. He just wants people to be engaged with truthful information.